Courtney. Welcome. Six to eight. Okay. Um, thank you, Fleur. Um, here is my new um, Wonder Crammer series titled um, Journey to No Man's Land. Um, I've called it a Wonder Crammer because um, it's taken the form of a 2D cabinet of curiosity in which I've placed imagery that is both autobiographical, some of it comes actually from childhood and um, from my interest, uh, you know, training as an architect and working as an artist, plus to combine a work that tells an, um, sort of an open-ended narrative tale that I want the viewer to look at and um, complete this tale by adding their own sense of curiosity, memory and creativity. And so I'll say, for example, like here, the, when I mean that it's an autobiographical tale, um, my early love of Xinhua comes from, this is a photograph of me when I was 10 in a Chinese dressing gown. And I put myself underneath the salt bush because when I went out to the desert in um, t uh, 2006 with the um, residency. So it plays on imagery from work um, that I've collected. Um, some of it's over 20 years old. I used to go to East Sydney Tech and go through the old books there and find imagery that you know had related to architecture and decoration. And um, in here, there's, it's also this book we had as a child. Um, we had two volumes of it, and it's filled with amazing pictures of people in different nations in ethno ethnological uh, different you know costumes. Sorry, not the right word. And um, say, for example, here, this um, Haitiki um, Maddox, my son, actually found when he was 14 um, in Moore Park. It was in the ground in the site of an old Sydney, the first um, rubbish dump there. And, um, and it's actually 16th century um, Haitiki. So it's quite extraordinary that he found it. And in learning about Haitikis, and I, I also, um, found out that in 1831, um, different um, Maori chiefs came to Sydney. So this story is a story, on one level, it's a story of exploration, um, coming to Australia and encounters between um, you know, different as um, concepts of culture, between European um, concepts of beauty, and which I've called this work, that's why, you know, like colonising beauty, and then um, the, the, the effect of concepts of culture and, and um, coming to the land on the first people, indigenous people. So in this work, I'll call her beauty colonised. So it's sort of thinking of how, you know, people coming, how the, you know, the whole uh, land was changed through this process of exploration and um, settlement. And also it sort of looks at changes to land, um, you know, the new trees that came, the buildings that were built, um, the effects on the, the landscape both then and now. So it's a combination of tales.